The land of distant sunset, a land of myriad contrasts, from sea and mountains to desert sands and green plains. The journey through the Kingdom of Morocco goes from the sea to the desert. Located at the mouth of the Mediterranean Sea, Morocco is the closest point of contact to Europe for Africa as a continent. Since his accession to the throne, King Mohammed VI has been committed to implement significant achievements in the economic, social and environmental fields. A royal vision for a prosperous, developed, resilient and inclusive Morocco. Improving transport infrastructures has always been a vital aspect of the reduction of social disparities. Wealth creation and improving connections between the various regions. Today, the transport sector in Morocco represents 5% of the national GDP in 2018, employs 5% of the active population and nearly 10% of the urban active population. Morocco benefits from 3,500 kilometers of coastline, giving it a strong opportunity to make maritime transport the appropriate means of integrating the Moroccan economy into the world economy. With a port network of 43 ports, 14 are dedicated to foreign trade with an annual capacity of 270 million tons. Tangier Med, the maritime and logistics hub and major transshipment platform for intercontinental traffic with Africa, registers nearly 40% of container traffic and connected to more than 180 ports. Tangier Med is ranked first port in Africa and the Mediterranean and 23rd largest port worldwide. Besides, roads and railways are always developing to offer an increasingly interconnection between ports, airports and the various industrial and logistics areas. With an overall employment capacity of 467,000 people, the logistics sector produced an added value of 43 billion dirhams, representing share of 4.26% of GDP in 2020. The road network has also been extensively reinforced to reach 58,000 kilometers of road, 1,800 kilometers of motorways, and 1,450 kilometers of expressways. The daily traffic of the global road network is approximately 90 million vehicles per kilometer. Road transport employs around 80% of the workforce in the entire road transport sector and provides nearly 90% of the mobility of people and 75% of the flow of goods, phosphates excluded. Furthermore, a national road safety strategy has been carried out in an alignment with good practices at the international level. Its main target is to reduce the number of road deaths by 50% by 2026. The last decade has been marked by an open sky policy. Morocco's 24 airports, 18 are international, are used by a multitude of global companies transporting around 25 million passengers before the pandemic. Royal Air Maroc, which is the national airline, was ranked fourth best airline in the MENA region and second best airline in Africa. Today, the Kingdom of Morocco has the second largest operating railway network in Africa. In November 2018, Morocco became the first African country to operate the high-speed train Al Burak. The total network is made up of more than 2,109 kilometers of railways, including about 200 kilometers of high-speed line, to transport annually 38 million passengers and 25 million tons of freight. In this same and social economic dynamics, and to strengthen the territorial connectivity, several projects were implemented to increase and develop the rail network, such as the railway stations, which gave a new look to the urban areas of the cities. Aware of the challenges of climate change, Morocco strives to implement a new national program for Sustainable Mobility 2030. This new program will be achieved in three steps the identification of the National Mobility Challenges, the development of the National Mobility Programme 2030, and the implementation of this programme. 
more than 20 years of determined transformation with top class transport and logistics infrastructure and an expanding contribution to regional growth and political stability. Morocco is an economic hub between Africa and the world. Morocco, the world's gateway to Africa.